Hi everyone, today I wanted to talk about the worst start advice that I've ever received while you see me paint a self-portrait in oils. Online or in real life, you can find very bad advices. The most common ones I would say are things like you shouldn't use references because that's cheating, you shouldn't do hyper-realistic art because for that we already have cameras, but the same if you go for a more cartoonish style or manga. Those are also not real art, and, and digital art for sure isn't real art either. The one that I got was kind of tied to this last one. I always had interest in digital art, and the main reason for that was how forgiven painting digital is. It removes all the pressure of messing things up, and for me that was important because I didn't feel like I could draw in a piece, and therefore I could allow myself to try things without planning. I'm still not the best at planning my paintings, but I'm getting better. <laughs> I still often sketch an idea on my iPad, and once I'm happy with it, I would paint it with oils or watercolor. Well, um, basically I was told by one of my college teachers that I just wasn't good at painting digitally and that I should quit and paint with watercolor instead. Because I haven't shared it here, you don't know. So I went to art school and my experience wasn't really the best. I can talk about it later if you're interested, but to summarize, I learned nothing and I really mean nothing. And this particular teacher was quite a nice guy, but he also didn't teach us anything, just like the rest of them. He allowed us to paint with whatever medium we wanted, and so I brought my laptop and my tablet to the lessons. Back then I hated old painting, so I would avoid it as much as possible. It's funny now looking back, but that's how I felt. Because they didn't give us any instructions, we didn't know our safety regarding our materials and so the rooms were full of students, each of us with a big open pot of solvent, just there, open for hours, often with all the windows closed, so you can imagine the amount of fumes that were in the air. I had no idea why, but breathing started hurting and I started skipping as many lessons as possible, most of them. Anyway, this particular teacher told me that and somehow I took it really well. Weird, uh, but it gave me the extra push that I didn't know that I needed. And a couple of months later, I got a pretty good job and started freelancing doing exactly what he said I was so bad at. When I heard that, I probably said something like, um, okay, thank you, I will try watercolors. <laughs> and I remember when I was leaving the room, I was just thinking, I'm gonna prove you so wrong. And then I started trying harder and painting with more focus because I kinda knew what I wanted to improve at the moment and it gave me the motivation that I didn't have. Now it's funny because I actually gave watercolors a shot years later and I loved them. And now the same goes for oils. After all these years I decided to try out painting again, uh, first with water mixable oils and they are so awesome. I love them, uh, but I prefer traditional oils, but I had to come up with a way to use them safely. So my way of working is a bit different than what you usually find. But because I didn't know how to paint with them in a more traditional way, I mean with solvents and mediums and all of that, I kinda developed my own way of working with them and I don't miss those. So long story short, it probably was a bad advice and I can imagine that depending how the person receiving it is feeling, it could potentially hurt quite a bit. But to me, I think I needed it. I was feeling lost with what I wanted to do with my work, and it helped me focusing, and I'm kinda grateful for it. What do you think? Did you ever get one of those comments? Like, I know there are many of them, so... If you did, please share it in the comments, I would love to know. And that's it. Have a nice day. Bye.